Well, Johnny Barks is fired forever. I like how everybody's blaming me that the stream failed. Oh, my fault. It was Johnny Barks pushed the end broadcast button. And uh, yeah, so the, the stream ended early there while we were talking to Tom. My apologies. We're back here. Cole from How oh, About Thy Chiefs YouTube channel. Um, we're going to talk about the AFC West. You can check us chatting with Tom and Johnny on the road. This is part two of today's stream. Thank you, everybody, for blaming me. It was Johnny Barks, but he gets a pass because they're running on fumes. So whatever. It's fine. It was it was so funny to hear because I'm I'm watching the stream on YouTube, but I'm also in the back end with StreamYard, and I just hear Tom yell, "Johnny, you just ended the stream!" But I'm delayed, so I'm watching YouTube. I'm like, "No, he didn't." And then it said stream ended. I was like, "Oh, yeah, he did." Yep. Hit the wrong button. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, we back. Okay. So I guess we'll talk about football now. Now that we got caught up with Tom, um, AFC West, Cole. Obviously, you're atop the division as a Chiefs fan. Probably not worried about much. Um, Anything you've seen the Chargers or Raiders or Broncos do this offseason that you're like, oh, yeah, those are some pretty good moves for that team yeah i mean some some moves have been intriguing i'll say that like the whole if we can go team by team if you want like the raiders i mean jimmy garoppolo i cut i kind of troll and say he's basically a more injury prone Derek carr i think though in the in the right system and he's familiar with obviously uh, mcdaniels like i think he could do well there but i'm a little bit nervous for them um, I mean, I, I enjoy it, but it's chaotic for them uh, even yeah. more. Just how's his foot actually going to be? Like McDaniel says he is 0% worried or stressed. That's only the media. Um, so I am I think a lot hinges on that because if it ain't him, is it going to be Brian Hoyer at QB for the Raiders? I mean, that's a mess over there. Yeah. Aiden O'Connell, is that their third stringer right now? Uh, yes. If the Broncos go 2-15 and 15 but sweep the Chiefs, I will be – totally fine um yeah i think the raiders had a dog poop off season in free agency uh they lose their their quarterback darren waller's gone um yeah that was a weird one jimmy g gets there and his foot is instantly broken i think i think his foot was fine and then he stepped into the raiders facility and it just plantar fascia whatever uh, so they delay the press conference. He's got to get surgery because the 49ers said he didn't need surgery. And then the Raiders doctors like, no, you do need foot surgery. And so sure, Josh McDaniels can say he's not worried. But if the guy you're signing immediately fails his physical because his foot's jacked up, might be cause for concern. And you're right. I don't think he is as good as Derek Carr. Um, but that all that said... All my trash talking about the Raiders, I thought they had a pretty solid draft. Maybe yeah, like the Tyree. best draft of any AFC West team this this year. But the Chiefs will always have good drafts because they've got a good team and they've got their quarterback and they've got their coach. So um, I thought the Raiders finally did a decent job in the draft. And I think, was it Michael Mayer they took? Their tight yeah. end in the second to replace Waller eventually tight ends always take a year to get up to speed, but I thought that was a good draft pick and Tyree Wilson at the top of the draft. Um, I think he'll be pick seven. Yeah. I think he'll be, I think he'll be good. So Raiders, good draft rest of the off season. They don't scare me, even though they've swept the Broncos three years in a row. It doesn't compare Have they to really? seven or whatever. We're dealing with the year. God forsaken team. <laughs> That's what is funny, hey. Cole. It's like Raiders fans will will chirp at me saying, "You haven't beat us in three years." I'm like I don't care. The Chiefs, I, we haven't beaten the Chiefs in seven. Like that means nothing to me. Nothing. Once we conquer the Chiefs, then I'll worry about the Raiders. Hey, let's talk about let's talk about y'all. Mm. Off season moves, draft. You guys didn't have a lot of draft picks. I mean, you gave up some for 
Peyton a lot for Russell. But yep. I mean, are you happy personally with um the Broncos what they did draft? Like are you happy with some of that? Uh Marvin Mims. Yeah. I mean He's fast. Little but fast. Who? Um Mims. Yeah, no, I'm excited to see how Mims fits into the offense. Um linebacker Drew Sanders. I think that was a, a really uh solid pick. And I'm gonna say, like, I didn't even know who the hell he was when we drafted him, but um it's a great player, also kind of like a, a an area where uh there's like a, a need. The Broncos have like a weird linebacking group. Like I really like Alex Singleton. Josie Jewell played well, um, but they've all every year they get injured there. And um adding Drew Sanders there, I think it's it's solid. Um we got a white corner, so that's interesting. Um <laughs> hey, that's a that's rare. Riley, Riley Moss. <laughs> Uh, the draft, like it is what it is. When you're picking late second, third, like you're not going to get super excited about a draft. But yeah, uh, I thought their off season was smart. I think they improved their offensive line, um, McGlinchey and, and Powers. I know a lot of people are like, oh, McGlinchey holds. Oh, he holds too much. Uh, still a lot better than what we had at right tackle. So. Basically, we got Sean Payton this offseason, and if you believe he's a decent head coach, that's a huge upgrade from where we were with Hackett. And I think that makes all the difference for this team moving forward. I have no idea what the Broncos are going to do on the field this season. And that's not just because like I'm trying to manage my expectations. I just it's another new head coach. We don't know how Russell Wilson's going to evolve in his system, if he's going to even be a good fit if he's gonna pick it up i do like that russ is trimming getting trim just needs a little he's lost he's, a, if he's just a little bit faster i think he'll be better but he had to have been taking his bread off of the danger witch sandwiches yeah just straight up swapping bread for lettuce no carbs i i saw a picture of him now compared to like last off season it's quite a bit of a difference dude i was like whoa yeah no, he looked a little slower. <laughs> he did. I watched it on many of the sacks he took last year. He would try to spin out of them and then just didn't. Like, basically, if Patrick Mahomes ever gets a little chubby, he's going to be in the same boat as Russell Wilson. You're going to think, oh, here comes the magic, and then he's sacked. Then he's sacked. Speak. Speaking of QBs, though, Jarrett Stidham. The Stids and a Ben Hey, man. Uh, That's interesting. I, I said it was over for Russ when they signed him, but I was joking. <laughs> um, but not a bad backup to have. Yeah, I guess. I thought he looked good in that, you know, that duel against Brock Purdy, but. Uh, yeah. I don't trust. I don't trust evaluating any player that plays for Josh McDaniels. So uh, I think maybe the best thing you could say about Jared Stidham is he played well with Josh McDaniels as his head coach. <laughs> he might be That's like true. he looked pretty good in that game, even though uh, they lost. Um, but yeah, it's either it's all or nothing this season for the Broncos. They better make the playoffs, or they better be the worst team in the league. Because if they are average, we are screwed. We are so screwed if they are average. Cause then you're. You think so? Yeah, we're stuck with Russ. It's like we just gotta wait till we can get out of that. If they're average, an average would be an improvement, right? You you think you're building, but Russ has been in the NFL too long. They gotta be good. They gotta be competitive. Mahomes, I mean, I, easy. I'd rather have Mahomes as the NFL goat, hundred percent. I I think you're gonna I, agree with me on that one, Cole. I mean, he's the best player in the league. He's had the best five-year start of any player in history. You see, um, Patrick Mahomes is so much more impressive than Tom Brady. It's not oh, even yeah. close. It's not I, even close. Watch I feel like Tom the conversation... Brady and then yeah. watch Patrick Mahomes. And then you'll go like the back to watch Tom Brady so you can fall <laughs> asleep at night. 
Sorry, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I was going to say, I feel like the convos, it's tough because Brady's played for whatever, 23 years, 25 years, however long it was, and Mahomes has played one-fifth. But, I mean, hey, I'm a big Mahomes fan, obviously, so he's had the best five-year start of anybody. Aside from, I guess Brady had three rings in five years. Mahomes has two. But if you just look at the trajectory, it's it's insane. Um, yeah. So I... I, I struggle with saying Mahomes is the GOAT, like the greatest of all time right now in no, five years. I, I think he's entering year seven, technically, but he sat his rookie year. But yeah, was he the better player? Is he more exciting? Is he more athletic? Uh, Yeah. I mean, Brady Brady was boring at times. I mean, but he, he was just methodical and calculated. I just saw a highlight from Brady. I know you hate Brady and don't even want to talk about him, but I just saw a highlight from him yesterday on Twitter. He, I don't. I think it was. I don't remember how many years ago, but he threw for like 500 yards <laughs> in four TDs. He was dicing. He's he's yeah, had his he, moments. He had yes. He had he's Tom Brady, very good quarterback, very good quarterback. Played on very good teams with very good defenses for a long time. That's true. Weak um, division at times. Look, is he going to be a Raider? Yeah, he's going to own part of the Raiders, and he's going to learn what it feels like to be a sucking loser. That's what he's about <laughs> to learn. He's going to learn what it feels like to not have a winning season. <laughs> Sorry, Raiders fans. Uh, I'm taking out my hate for Tom Brady on you right now. But look, like the way I look at it is this. Uh, if Tom Brady did not go to the Patriots in that situation, he does not have the career that he has. Like if, he went to the Browns, who could have selected him, uh, and they take they took Spurgeon win instead. We're not talking about Tom Brady. You might say, oh, yeah, he was a pretty good quarterback. Like, he might have figured it out. Patrick Mahomes could have went anywhere in the league. And don't get me wrong, I think Andy Reid, instrumental in his development, I think that's the perfect marriage, just the way Brady and Belichick were, because Tom Brady could put up with Belichick's bullshit. Like, he was, like, one of the few guys I think could do that. Yeah. So, it worked, but like Mahomes is the type of quarterback who would have changed any franchise he went to. I believe um, he's it's just interesting that to good instantly. It's in interesting to hear you say that because that's a knock from a, for a lot of people on Mahomes. Just basically saying if he would have went to the Bears because he was supposedly he thought he was going to go to Chicago uh, third pick overall. Right. And people are saying if he would have went to the Bears, he'd, he would have been nothing and they would have been just as bad as they are or as no, they were with Trubisky. Great. And if you put Trubisky in KC, they would have the same amount of success. And I'm like, no. mm, I think that's a, a big stretch, to be honest. <laughs> I think I Trubisky would have been better with Andy Reid. But I think was, oh, yeah. that was Nagy was, was with Chicago then. Like, yeah. He, Nagy would have – Nagy – coached up Trubisky for a while. People forget that Nagy they went to the did playoffs. A job. Yeah. If he had Mahomes, they would have won that game. They would have was it the Eagles they double doinked to? They would have won with Mahomes. I'm trying to remember. I think it was. It doesn't matter. But uh Mahomes would have been great with the Bears. Uh Trubisky probably better with Andy Reid, but maybe the Chiefs don't actually move on from Alex Smith <laughs> if they're like, ah, maybe Trubisky's not as good as we thought. Um, Peyton, er, Mahomes is more comparable, I think, to, like, to Peyton Manning. It's first-round talent, um, comes in right away, makes a difference. And Mahomes sat a year, but, like, yeah, uh, you know. I, I hate that Patrick Mahomes plays for the Chiefs, obviously, because they're a division rival, but, like, I'm not, a, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> like I watched the guy play and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, stop, stop doing that. Stop. Also, like, I think Travis Kelsey has just been huge for Mahomes. Like, and the longer oh, yeah. Travis plays, the more you're, you're like, he is in an insane, it, the way like Gronk helped Tom Brady, that, like that relationship, like knowing you've got that in your tight end, uh, very helpful. Um, a thousand percent. I mean, before Mahomes, the Chiefs were one and four in the postseason uh, with Andy Reid. They only won one game, lost four. So, yeah, were they a playoff contender? Sure. But could they get it done? No. I mean, all all love and respect to, to Alex Smith. I mean, they just they just couldn't. So Mahomes definitely elevated them there. Having Hill and Kelsey. I mean, 
I feel like Mahomes, we don't have to talk about this forever here, but I just feel like Mahomes proved a lot of people, like everybody already knew he was good, but then when they trade away Tyreek and they're like, oh yeah, it's done, like they're done. You know, I last season it's like the Chiefs might finish third or fourth in the AFC West. You know, Hill was carrying Mahomes kind of like that was kind of the convo from some people, you yeah. know, but from some. obviously Kelsey carried. He had a career year in almost every category, but like then they win the Super Bowl. So I feel like he really established himself <laughs> last year in league MVP, Super Bowl MVP without Tyreek. Um, you know, they traded Ty- Tyreek away, went young. They, they had Juju, I mean, which was helpful, but he's not Tyreek, not even close. <laughs> so. I, I mean, think, it's it's a wild time right now. I think Mahomes solidified himself uh, when he won league MVP in uh, 2018, the Super yeah. Bowl in his first or second year, whatever. It was MVP, and then they won the Super Bowl second year, right? Is that how it went? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so that was uh, it. Because yeah, then like we... he was he was already there. I think like what most people thought was like losing a player as good as Tyreek Hill, the Chiefs' offense might not be as good. But like, I yeah. I think sometimes that gets misinterpreted, and maybe some people are like, "Oh, they're gonna they're gonna fall, they're gonna tank," and they lost in the playoffs the the year before to the Bengals. And I think a lot of people just thought, "Oh yeah, Bills, Bengals," and hope people like me hoped they would be better than the Chiefs. <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean that losing Tyreek, their whole offense was gonna tank and nosedive. But uh, Mahomes is at the point where he's gonna make everybody around him better. And he had Tyreek Hill early in his career to help him in bad situations. And he could just chuck a ball downfield and Tyreek Hill would always be open. And if he wasn't open, somehow at five foot ten, he could still out jump everybody around him. It's insane. And Tyreek Hill had an insane year with the Dolphins, too. So, like, it was a weird situation yes. where they both proved how good they were. And you don't see that all the time. Um and trust me, I do not want to give Tyreek Hill credit or Mahomes credit, but that's what it is. Chargers off season, and then we're gonna do a fun like uh, yep. enemy draft here. Uh, Chargers will be better because I think Justin Herbert's gonna be healthy. Uh, I think we all forgot that like he really jacked up his ribs and against the Chiefs. Yep. So yeah, wasn't as good for a while, and then of course they lose in horrific fashion to the the Jags in the postseason. Uh, Austin Eckler, they gave him a little more money, so he'll be he'll be back. That was a big concern. And yeah, uh, he's back. Ooh, what's that? They had a quiet. They had like a quiet off season. I mean, we could talk draft with them, but they they added Eric Kendricks, linebacker from the Vikings. They re-signed a bunch of players. Um, Drew Tranquil is over with the Chiefs now. Like, yeah, not that's not a great. Complaining like, about I, that you one. guys don't need linebackers though. <laughs> I mean, he's a great coverage linebacker, and we, like, you could watch a couple games last season. We got scorched in the middle of the field, um, so I think he will help there. But um, that was that was an interesting loss for the Chargers um, that I did not expect. I think there was a little bit of drama there. He thought he was going to have a higher market, talking about Drew Tranquil, yeah. and maybe gambled on himself, and I don't I don't know if he won. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what the Chargers oh, were offering won. him if... He thinks, I mean, he won by coming he went to the to a Chiefs. Better team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's for sure. Good. But he's I mean, like a very undervalued player. Um, he's Chargers a converted safety. Yeah. That's the way I see it. Now, their draft, I, I like I like some of their draft picks. I mean, and this is where this is now, I'm sure you're seeing it. They're hyping up the Chargers already as on paper, this team could beat the Chiefs, this team could That's beat the Jets. Year. I know. It's I've every never year, the but Chargers they're already doing. Have it. A, a great off season. And then I like Quentin Johnston. Long, like week three, they get injured. I feel like did this off season, did they also fire their head strength and conditioning coach? I think they did. I could be Maybe. wrong there, but uh, they needed to do something. If it wasn't their strength and conditioning coach, it was somebody on the medical side. Um, but yeah, definitely I mean, got rid of their medical. They revamped their medical staff. Oh, maybe it was you guys. Yeah, maybe it was you guys. We've had like one of the most injured teams over the last five years, uh, and bad injuries. Okay. So, like everybody's ACL tears. Tim Patrick. Yeah. I mean, she's Louise. Javante. The we lost Patrick on. and Javante. That killed us. Look, the Broncos should be better just by guys coming back from injury. But um, do you the think Chargers? You're talking about the Chargers draft. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Who they who was the receiver they took 
in the first Quentin oh, they Johnston. Took, uh, Quentin Johnston, yeah. um, which I thought was a great pickup for them. I mean, pair him up with Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. I mean, is the thing with those guys, they just got to stay healthy, dude. I yeah. mean, if they stay healthy and they've got Quentin Johnston as well, raising him up, I mean, you got Herbert, you got Eckler. I mean, that's a, that's a solid, that's a solid offense in theory. Yeah. Justin Herbert is both as good as advertised, adver- ad- ad- advertised, and also overrated in the same breath. <laughs> so weird. He's so high. I mean, he is good. And I, Part of its coaching, the team, like he's 500 just, basically overall in his career. It's just weird. It's a team. It's football is a team sport. So sometimes yeah. you're limited by your team. And there's probably not a Brandon Staley is on a very hot seat this season, right? So they bring in Kellen Moore to be their OC. And uh, if their offense isn't one of the, I feel like, top five in the NFL and their defense isn't really competitive, like he's gone. Um, Staley. So he's I'll, in the hot seat. Herbert stays healthy. They should be fine. The receivers stay healthy. Should be fine. Uh, but their run game is also a little weird because like Eckler's amazing, but a lot of that's just catching passes out of the backfield. And I feel like yeah, in terms of rushing the football, weren't they weren't they pretty low in the league? Certainly in the AFC West, they got to be the worst at running the ball. I believe so. It, I'm surprised Staley stayed another year. I'm not going to lie. After blowing the 27 points to the Jags, I, I was a little surprised that they brought him back. I mean, I wasn't complain, <laughs> complaining when right. they brought him back, but I was like, wow. But I think you're right. He's in the hot seat. I don't I don't know how much is uh, – I don't know how long his deal is or if they extended him just for one more season or what that looks like on the behind-the-scenes stuff. But, like, as you can tell with the Broncos, sometimes it don't matter. Sometimes you just got to move on. Like, Nathaniel yeah. Hackett <laughs> was not working out. It was bad. So, do you think the yeah, Chiefs was... streak ends this season? What's that? Do you think the Chiefs winning streak? Do you think that ends this season uh, against the Broncos? I know you hope it, but like, like what do you what do you I really mean, think? I thought it would end last year, Cole. Um, and yeah, you know what? Enough. The Broncos played two of their better games against Kansas City last year. Oh, they were close. Uh, it was like they you guys were up twenty seven zero. And then we came back. That was, but yeah. Rusty that was got lovely. concussed. Was that the game Patrick Mahomes threw like three picks as well? Or was that the second time? He had a couple picks. Like either way, yeah, we he were two, close. Threw, threw two or three. And that was with you know, not Sean Payton. So yeah, would I bet on it? No, just because like. Prove me, change my mind, Broncos. Please, God, give me something. Uh, so I will say I am <laughs> dead inside, and I cannot answer that question. Well, I think it's gonna be. It's just gonna be tough. I mean, Sean Payton. Like, I told I told Chiefs Kingdom if Andy Reid retired this offseason, he'd be the guy to get. So I, I feel like if you don't do better. With Peyton, just what you said, like I don't, I don't know what else you could have done this off season. Yeah. Get Peyton, rebuild the line. Um, I know you want to move on, but like your off season was weird. You guys signed like everybody in the first like three days, and then it yeah. was draft. So, uh, yeah, certainly interesting, man. I'll, I think a lot's on Russell. I'm curious how his off season surgeries went. Like, did he have? Was it shoulder surgery, Russell? His throwing arm Something. or no? It's like no. It was yeah. like a yeah. It was like a minor cleanup thing. Something that had been a problem for like a few years, though. Yeah. So I don't think it like he had a hamstring issue during the season. He might have had a knee thing. He got concussed. His shoulder was messed up. Like he had a lot of little like there was those are significant injuries during the season. Oh, yeah. Um, But nobody gives a shit. There's like Russ is washed. Who cares if he's not 100 percent? But I think. Shoulder surgery should help. Better condition should help. And a guy who knows what he's doing calling the offense will be the biggest help. Um, yeah, re- Chargers were third worst in rushing yards per game last okay. season. So that would be an area they do wow. need to get better. Third worst in the NFL or the AFC West? NFL. 
Okay. Jeez. Okay. They averaged 89.6 yards per game. Only the Buccaneers and Texans were worse. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty wild because the Bucs threw like every single down. <laughs> yeah. So. The Bucs were historically, almost historically bad. So. Crazy, man. Yeah. I'm excited for this uh, season. I think the AFC West is going to be intriguing to watch. And I mean, Great. It's a great time to be a Chiefs fan. We've been winning, but dude, the Chargers have been close games. We beat the Raiders by one on Monday Night Football. I mean, we we beat you guys by one score. Two games. Yep. I mean, the Chiefs are tight margin a lot. Some have this theory that Andy Reid just holds back until the postseason, but I'm like, does it always have to be that stressful if that's the case? I mean, come on now. I, it's the NFL. AFC West is tough. Yep. My hope, honestly, is that the AFC West is what we thought it was going to be this last season, where it's just ultra competitive and it gets a lot of attention because there are like three teams that are really good. And then there's the Raiders. That's my hope. Uh, I'd much rather have, I'd be fine with that. Urban Meyer was a a douche. Hackett was a nice guy. He just wasn't good at his job. Give me the nice guy. Yeah. I felt bad for Nathaniel. Yeah, I do too. Like, I just think he wasn't ready for that that gig. And he was in a weird situation with a weird quarterback and uh, ownership change. There's just, there's, a, there's too much change and he wasn't ready. I mean, I, I enjoyed the, you know, you guys struggling, but I felt like it's just a game at the end of the day. Like, I felt bad for him, like, as a person, like, all the hype, offseason hype. And dude, he was, he was sent packing before the season was even over. I was a mess. So, yeah, it was rough. On to brighter things. Maybe for y'all. I'm sure you're hoping. Oh, God, please just make us good. Even if you're 500, is that good? You said that you said an average season's not good enough in your eyes. If you went close to, you can't go 500 anymore, but if you went close to 500, is that a win after winning just a few not games this year. last season? No. Okay, you need, you need more than that. Yeah, we got to be in the playoffs. If I'm not in the playoffs next year, then they better be one of the worst teams in the league. That's the way I look at it. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so what Cole and I are going to do right now is we're going to draft two fantasy teams, uh, only with AFC West players, and we cannot draft any players from the team that we love. So Cole can select no Chiefs. I cannot select any Denver Broncos. And we're going to build a team to beat the other guy. Um, There's current players. We got to each take a current player uh, and then like a legendary player at the positions. We're just doing quarterback, tight ends, receivers, running backs. And then I got one defensive player in there we can sort of go with. Um, But I will give you the first draft pick, Cole, because I'm just such a nice guy. Do you want to go in order for by position or it don't matter? Doesn't matter. All right. It's a lot of pressure. So I can't pick a chief. Actually, we can go by position just to make it a little more easier and organized. Okay. Um I'm gonna let's start with tight end because I think the okay. AFC West has one of the greatest uh, groups of tight ends in NFL history versus, versus any other division. So, I mean, is Antonio Gates on there? Because if I can't go, if I can't go either of my Chiefs guys, Antonio Gates is intriguing. If he's not on there, we got Gates. Um, There's Kellen Winslow from the Chargers Ooh. as well. You got Shannon Sharp. Raiders. Oh, they don't have any legendary tight ends. I mean, I like Sharp, too. I think I, I would just go with Antonio Gates because I love his story. I'm going with my heart here. Just the undrafted guy. Wow. The undrafted guy to prove everybody wrong. One of the greatest in the game at his position. One of the greatest undrafted guys in the in the history. So we're going. We're going with it. If I can't pick Tony G or Kelsey, like I'm, I'm, I'll roll there. Wow. Shannon Sharp was better, but sure. Yeah, go into Antonio Gates. That's yeah, I like Sharp, too. Okay, so whew, I cannot pick Shannon Sharp. Um, oh man, I didn't even put a Bronco. I didn't even put a current Broncos tight end on here. So it's just gonna have to be one tight end. 
So I'm basically debating between Travis Kelsey and Tony Gonzalez. Um, I like Tony Gonzalez more than Travis Kelsey. I think Tony Gonzalez has one of the most consistent careers you will ever see by any player at any position. He was good every single year, including his final like two or three seasons. He was still catching a ton of passes. I think Travis Kelsey will ultimately finish as the overall better tight end historically. But like you, uh, I am going to go with my heart and I will take Tony Gonzalez as my tight end. He was just on a podcast with uh, the Kelsey brothers and they were sure. talking about uh, Tony G was, yeah. And so they were just talking about how Tony would do in this offense compared to Kelsey and uh, the Chiefs offenses back then. And I mean, I think they're both insane players. The fact that Tony G technically only missed one game in his career, that's insane. Yeah. <clears throat> I think he started one and left another due to injury. But like, yeah, that's longevity right there. That's, I mean, that's something both he and Kelsey have in common, right? Um, Yep. They're I mean, Kelsey missed his whole field. rookie season. Playing. Yeah, Kelsey missed his whole rookie season, but outside of that, he's been... He, he has barely missed a game. I don't even know if he's missed a game. He missed um, one because of COVID. Yeah. I think, like... Oh, man. Kelsey's probably the more savvy tight end, and yeah. Gonzalez was the more gifted tight end. Um, but I was so happy when he left and went to Atlanta. Oh, my God. That was a nice day. All right. So we each got a tight end. Uh, let's go um, running backs. Okay. And uh, you can pick current back or a legendary back. You're going to have two, okay? We, we each have two running backs. Okay, we can pick two. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I'm, is Ladanian Tomlinson on there? Yeah, of course he is. Okay, can I have him? Yeah, <laughs> it's your, your draft pick. Yes, sir. That's, I mean, dude, he was so good, man. Insanity. Um. Yeah. What is he? Uh, I think he's second, second or third all time in touchdowns. Second or third in rushing yards. People forget how insane. LT was like, I think second in touchdowns and second to only Emmett Smith, maybe. And Emmett Smith had like a thousand, oh, like 1200 more carries than LT. So, uh, that's a, Jeez. that's a good pick. Um, and so since mm. I picked, oh, your turn, right? Yeah. Now I pick. Yeah. You pick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, you got Bo Jackson. You got Marcus Allen. I can't pick my guy, Terrell Davis. I got I saw Priest him on Holmes there. in there and uh, Jamal Charles as well. Um, Jamal Charles, I think, understated. Priest Holmes was really, really good. But I think I'm going to go, even though the career uh, cut short, I'm going with Bo Jackson. Okay. I and saw he's not allowed yeah, to play baseball. It. He's only focusing on football. Only focusing on football. Give me Bo Jackson. Just the most purely talent, one of the most purely talented athletes to ever do it. All right. Now you got to pick a current running back. Do you have uh oh man? Because I can't can't pick Chiefs. I mean, Eckler's cool, but I don't want to go all chargers all the time. Let's see. Mm, I mean, I like Josh Jacobs. He on there? Yeah. Let's pick him. I'll go with him. Okay. Taking Josh Jacobs over Javante Williams, assuming that's just because Javante's uh, coming off a knee injury. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going a little me. bit. Austin I'm going Eckler. a little bit off recently. I'm going off recency bias a little bit. No, that's fine. J Josh Jacobs, solid. Uh, yeah. He had a very good season last year. Easy pick for me in Austin Eckler. Yeah, I love um, that guy too. I like Pacheco, like, but we've only seen one season from him, right? And 
Yeah. Eckler, also from Colorado. It's a little hometown bias for me with Austin Eckler. Um, okay. Now I'm going to pick first. Because we should have snaked it. We should have snaked it. Yeah, I don't know we why should've. I gave you back-to-back. LT was – you stole that. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're going to go to receivers now. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go with, ooh, man, modern receivers. I've got Tyree Kill, which you can't pick, even though he's not on the Chiefs. Devontae Adams is in there uh, for the Broncos. There's Judy. There's Sutton. We've got Keenan Allen. We've got Mike Williams. Uh, I put in Kadarius Tony for you guys because maybe he'll be the number two receiver. <laughs> um, maybe. Maybe. In theory, he'll be up. He'll, he's gonna be up there if he's healthy. That's the big. That's the big thing. Yeah. I guess I can't. I guess we can't have Ty, Tyree Kill has to be a, a legendary one because he's not in the AFC West. Okay, that'd Fair be enough. cheating. So I'll, I'll go current. I'll go Devonte Adams. Yeah, that's who I would have picked for sure. He's probably the best receiver in the. Well, he is the best receiver in the division now. I mean, you could argue he's the best in the league until, like, Justin yeah. Jefferson is up there. But, like, I'm just saying from a – until somebody knocks him off, which eventually Devontae is going to fall off, and then it's probably Jefferson. But, yeah, I would have went with him. Um, let me see. I can't pick Chiefs. So I got Broncos, current. Oh, man. Judy Sutton, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams – uh, I don't even think I put a second Raiders receiver up there. Should have had Ren. I should have had Renfro on here. I forgot Renfro. I wouldn't have picked him, so it's fine. <laughs> um, I mean, I like Jerry Judy a lot. He's young, dude. He would be so good with Mahomes. It would be. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm a roll with Judy. I like yeah. Mike Williams too, though. But I'll go with Judy. Just he's younger. Yeah. Got life. Yeah, he would be crazy with Mahomes, dude. It would be nuts. Yeah, no, I think Mike Williams is underrated as well. Uh, okay. So there's a receiver. Uh, we'll go legendary receiver now. Okay. Is that You want to go again since I went twice in a row first? You want to do it again? Uh, no, you can go. You can make your legendary pick. Is uh, Jerry Rice on there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I did not include him for the Raiders. Dang it. I, uh, I mean, that's got, that's kind of cheating. You got Rod Smith. You got Ed McCaffrey. You got... Mm. Um, uh, who the hell else did I put in here? Oh, I think I forgot to put Dwayne Bow in for you guys. That was like your... <laughs> yeah, Dwayne was one of the guys... In recent history, that kind of Tim balled Brown. out. Um, got Rod Smith? Yeah, I got Rod. Let's do it. Bam. That's a good pick. Somebody said somebody said Randy Moss. You got Randy Moss on there? Oh, shit. I forgot Randy Moss was a, a Raider. That's right. It's okay. If we're just going with like the career average of where, they, where they're most known for. Fine. Yeah. Damn. Randy Moss would have been nice, but yeah, he wasn't a he wasn't a contributor. So I'm basically it's you got uh, was it Tim Brown for the Raiders mm -hmm. and Lance Allworth for the the Chargers, and that's really old. So I think I'll have to I'll have to go Tim Brown here. Okay, so we got each got a tight end, two running backs, two receivers. Um, now we got to go current quarterback. And I think current you're first, aren't you? You're first, aren't you? Well, yeah, I mean, you can't pick the guy I was going to pick anyway. I got Pat, Pat oh, Mahomes. No, that's fine. Okay, that works great. I'm over here thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm going with uh, Herbert for sure. Oh. Since I can't yeah. have Mahomes, I mean, yeah. Because it's yeah. not Carr. <laughs> I mean, not and Carr. Wilson... Jimmy G. I was a big Wilson. I was a big Wilson fan growing up, dude. But I, I would not pick him based on recent recent performance right now. 
We're going at uh, Herbert. Okay. Now you get a uh, you get a flex player. It can be current. It could be legend. Any flex player you want. Okay, of any position. Any position. Oh man. Just is it just uh, the position we've already picked, or because I see like I see Crosby on there, like I see other positions. I was gonna make us talking? each pick one defensive player. As okay, well. okay, okay, okay. Let's go. If I could have a flex player, hmm. Okay. What about? Can I pick another? I guess I can. Could be a no. running back, a tight end, or a receiver. I'd pick. Give me uh, Shannon Sharp. Let's just double up. Ooh. Let's double up. He would put up crazy numbers in today's. I oh, would be nuts. It would be nuts. You didn't want to go Austin Hooper there? <laughs> no, I'm good. I thought no, about Marcus Austin Allen. Hooper? Just. I thought about Marcus Allen just for uh, some nostalgia. But. Yeah. Ooh, flex player. Now, this is tricky. Hmm. Yeah, we ruled out Tyree Kill. I just nixed him completely. Because that might be my flex choice. I'm looking around here. Mm, man, the guys I, I want, Demarius Thomas for my flex. I'm kind of debating between Jamal Charles, Priest Holmes, and Marcus Allen. You know what? I think I'm going to go Marcus Allen. Both as a Raider and a Chief. That's my flex guy, Marcus Allen. Okay. So, okay, people are roasting me in chat because I, I picked Herbert over. Well, because they're saying, how did you pick Herbert over Peyton or Elway? I, if Peyton you, was a recent one, I could go with him, but I th I'm I'm still thinking he's... Current, those were current quarterbacks. We're, we're yeah, now... We could only... Okay, this, go ahead. This very pick, we are picking former any quarterback legend okay. status qb yeah oh, so yeah too. i start yep you do it first <laughs> uh damn i didn't put alex smith or lynn dawson in here Ooh, lenny would have been good i got joe montana um i mean but, you know, it was a short stint there with the Chiefs. I got Derek Carr for the Raiders because he's actually one of their all-time best QBs. But yep. for entertainment purposes, I'm going old Philly Rivers. Give me some okay. Philip freaking Rivers. Philip, cry me a river? Hell yes. I hated I him as much as Tom Brady at one point. <laughs> and I learned to love him. Dude, he's he's hilarious, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's hilarious. Okay, so I can now I can pick a what am I picking? A QB? Yeah, you get a legendary QB pick. Okay. But it can't be a chief. Nope. I mean, it's either gonna be Elway or I mean, is Manning in that tier? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, let's go with Manning, dude. I'm just I, I think Elway was fantastic, but probably recency bias for me being a bit younger. Growing up watching Manning, I like let's go. Yeah, I think Manning was the probably the better overall QB. I think Elway would have benefited from playing now numbers yeah. wise, um, but he was insane. Okay, got legendary quarterbacks, current quarterbacks. We got our flex picks. Oh yeah, okay. So now a, a, a defensive player. Um, let's see here. I got Derek Thomas in there, a legendary defensive player. We got Von Miller in there for the Broncos. Howie Long in there for the Raiders. Uh, Chargers, I got uh, Junior Seau in there. Oh, yeah, so it's, and it's my pick. Ooh. All-time great defensive player. Mm. Bro, you have to pick who, I, who I'm thinking. I mean, I don't see how you could not. It's either Junior Seah or Derek Thomas for me. Um, I was probably a little too young to really appreciate Howie Long, but uh, mm, damn. Ah, I really respect Derek Thomas. 
but Shannon Sharp was able to get in his head. So I'm going Junior <laughs> Seya. I'm going Junior Seya. Dude, Derek Thomas was so good, man. Rest in peace. I can't pick him, and you picked who I was probably going to pick, so let's see. I mean, you know who modeled his game after Derek Thomas and has had a fantastic career? That's And it's probably – there's probably better – legends on here but just with my who i watched growing up i'm gonna go with vaughn old vaughn, vaughn miller yeah oh yeah i should have this game Wilson after dt yep. for the Raiders. yeah that's you've been a good one I, I i made this list uh, about 20 minutes before the show started so forgive any people i might have missed <laughs> um all right now you got to pick a current defender so i've okay. got bosa i've got crosby i've got pat sertan Mm. Um, I feel like a Derwin James. Uh, anybody else? I just tried Somebody to. Somebody said Khalil Mack. Player. Khalil Mack's past his prime, I think. Yeah. If you're if we're going current, how they're performing right now? That's kind of what I was leaning into. I mean, I can't pick Chris Jones, obviously. I like that one. Derwin's a dog. I mean, one of the best in the game. I feel like, man, you, uh, well, sir, PS2, man. I, I might, like, I might pick PS2. You know, lock down that corner. Smart yep, pick. Let's do it. That's I mean, the right I, pick. I, I like Crosby. I like Bosa. But, dude, PS2 is, he's the real deal. Yeah. For me, it's, it's between Chris Jones and Max Crosby. Um, but I'm going to go Chris Jones. I just think he's yeah. more impactful every single game. <laughs> he's insane, dude. Yeah. Like when an interior player is that dominant, it really opens up your, your whole defensive line. Um, Am I chat then, saying Crosby? Okay. Crosby would have been a good one too. Yeah, no, Crosby's great. Uh, he's my favorite Raider, I and mean, I don't really like anybody. <laughs> Yeah, I like Josh Jacobs. I like Crosby. Yeah, he's I like a Renfro. There's actually, yeah, there's a number of Raiders I like. I just Devontae. I don't like the Raiders. Boom. I think that's it. I think that's the full team. Let's go. Two defense. Oh, I guess we could take one more receiver. Okay. Hmm. Current Who's or legend. You just get one more receiver. You're trying to put your fantasy team over the top, Cole. Is it, am I, is it my go? Oh, no, it's mine. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Hmm. Hmm. I think I will have to go with Mike Williams. Okay. Dang, you yeah. didn't pick Tyreek, huh? No, we took him off the list. Oh, okay. Because since he's not in the AFC, like I, I guess that's the same for Vaughn. Um, he kind of, you could probably could have took Tyreek if you wanted. Fine, I'll take. That's Tyreke. fine. No, nope, I'll take Tyreek. I mean, I feel like that's fair because a lot of, like, if you're going to pick anybody, if you want one. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I could have called Travis Kelsey a receiver, taking him, but I'll go Tyree. <laughs> um, man, okay. I mean, I'm probably going to go with with either of the Chargers guys at this point. Over Demarius I mean, Thomas? You'd have DT. Oh, he's on there still? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that, let's pick him. There you go. That's who I'd go with. Look at those four Broncos to finish it off, Cole. Look at hey, let's that. go, dude. Look at Peyton that. Manning's like a he's kind of like a hybrid guy. I mean, he is a Bronco. He won a ring, two Super Bowls there, but it's on the Colts for a long, long time. Boom. Did we Tyreek on there twice? <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the the images for Tyreek was really big. And sometimes you can't import those into Tier Maker, so I just grabbed the other one. Uh, I had, uh, let's see here, we had, I had Champ Bailey in there. Um, yeah, he would have been good. 
I put I Gannon him. in for the Raiders. You could have put some of their older quarterbacks like Stabler. Um, I had Clinton Portis in there for the Broncos, Terrell Davis, Atwater, Dan Fouts for the Chargers. I picked Rivers over Dan Fouts. Um, but yeah, if you look at like tight ends, you got Shannon Sharp. You got a lot of Travis good ones. Kelsey, Tony Gonzalez, Antonio Gates, Kellen Winslow. Like when so many Kelsey's career ends, you could basically say those are the f- like five of the six greatest tight ends to ever play the game. You got to put Gronk in there somewhere, but that's insane that they've all been in the AFC West. Uh, oh yeah. It's crazy, man. I mean, even, yeah, it's crazy to think that you had somebody as good as Gonzalez and then did it again with yeah. Kelsey. I'm like, it's insane. It's a good it time is, to be a man. Chiefs fan. I'll tell you that. What's up? So it's a good time to be a Chiefs fan. Yep. I'll tell you that. You're in the. You're in your prime. You're in your prime. Um. All right, Cole. Well, oh yeah, shit. First of all, don't forget to support Cole with uh, his coffee blend over at BenchwarmerBrew.com. That's Cole's blend. Yes, sir. It's magnificent. We're going to be dropping some high or some chai tea Higgins. Some tea is coming soon over at benchwarmerbrew.com. But the cheapest Dude, way fire. is you, you sign up for the subscription service. You get the coffee mailed to you however often you want. Make sure you support Cole there. We've got Tree. We've got Five. Uh, Tom sold some tea. But get Cole's coffee. Cole, what do you got coming out later today? Anything? Um. Yeah, I'm going to do just an update, recapping some stuff that happened over the weekend. Norma, the Chiefs are at the White House today. That's interesting. All right. um, just just covering random news. Nothing nothing wild. Uh, start stacking up YouTube shorts for the week. What about you? If they're at the White House, I just want, yeah. I want Travis Kelsey to always be standing close to Biden in case he falls. He'll have the, the best hands there to catch him. <laughs> Dude. That fall What's was the over under on weekend. Biden falling at the Chiefs' uh, visit to the White House. It's got to be decently high at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Kelsey said he was gonna. Kelsey said he wanted to visit the Oval Office and look for like the the secret button to open up like a <laughs> secret room. He'll go in there. He'll look for the secret button and then he's gonna press it and it's just gonna be the one that launches the nukes. Don't oh, do it, man. Travis. Don't you? Dare. Please don't. Uh, awesome. What are you well, working thanks on? Thanks for filling in today, Cole. Right. We had to do two streams today because Johnny Barks accidentally ended the one. Uh, we're grassy updated us early. Appreciate everybody watching in June when not much is happening. Cole, go subscribe to his channel, uh, especially if you like the Chiefs, I guess. And yes. I forget welcome, how we close the show here. So. Bye. You say something funny. Yeah.